This video is sponsored by HubSpot. The GPT store is up and everything on it is free. So I did some digging and found you a couple of great custom GPTs to use. Some are just fun, but others, they have enormous potential. So let's get cracking. Imagine you're trying to sell something. How to write the correct listing description? How to pick the best price? Do you really have time to look at other listings and copy someone else's? No, of course not. We're going to use Sell Me This Pen GPT. Shout out to Jordan Belford. Using this GPT is super simple. All we have to do is upload a picture and write a short prompt. Help me sell this and write a description make a listing hit enter ai will then analyze the image and find out exactly what you are trying to sell then it will give you the category the brand the color and all the other information you might need in your seller's listing and as you can see on the first try it didn't manage to finish generating response so i will regenerate and hope that the next one will be better and boom ai analyzed the phone in the photo and gave the average second hand prices for various phones of course there is some irrelevant text in this response, but that's still more information than ever Joe wants to look for. At the end, AI gives a price suggestion on how we should price our phone. This way, in just a couple of clicks, we get description, specifics of the listing, and even the price. What else do you need? I want to push it a little further with this next image of this child's ride-on toy. At this time, the results are even more impressive since the AI managed to correctly interpret the brand of the toy. Then it gave a nice description for the listing and the specifications like category, brand, and color necessary to publish the listing. The only thing that it didn't really manage to do is assess the costs, so it suggested to price our toy in the range from $20 to $100. I can also ask it to look up similar toys on eBay and give me the price, and it does just that. I think that with this GPT, it will be super easy to sell stuff online, even if you don't really know what you're selling. Imagine going to all those yard and garage sales, scanning people's items with ChatGPT and finding out which ones you can resell for profit. Sounds like a perfect side hustle for the weekend, don't you think? And again, this GPT is totally free. And while we're talking about free, HubSpot. I think you and I are similar in a way. We both love to develop ourselves and grow. So recently I discovered an amazing resource called Five Essential Resources for Using ChatGPT at Work, created by HubSpot. The bundle of resources covers a bunch of stuff. There is a flow chart for deciding when to use ChatGPT, which I think is a smart idea. By using this tool, you can optimize your time on ChatGPT. And it also has a template for setting guidelines. Really helpful to keep things on track. There is a checklist for refining AI-generated content, which is super useful for quality control. Plus, it guides you on how to integrate AI into your workflow. And there is this big section with over 100 prompts for using ChatGPT at work. What really hit home for me was the AI-generated content refinement checklist. It's like having a secret weapon for making sure anything I write with AI turns out great. It's simple to follow and makes a huge difference in the quality of the content. As someone who uses AI a lot for writing, this part was a game changer. Well, seriously, if you're aiming to step up at work, you should give this book a look. And the best part, just click the link below to grab it for free. Simple and easy. The second GPT will be a little different. Let's say you have a nice photo of a sunset that you want to use, for example, on your website or for commercial purposes. What should you do? Buy the photo? No, there is a far easier way to do it. Open ChatGPT and look for Creative Design Advisor. Next, choose one of the suggested prompts and upload a photo that you want to replicate. This GPT will analyze the image and create a prompt for the dolly that will allow you to basically copy the photo in question without infringing any copyright laws. Here is the prompt it gave me. So let's open the dolly and type it in. I will just copy it and paste it. Now check out the results. To me, this looks very similar and has exactly the same vibe as the reference image. The colors, the framing, everything is basically identical. But don't ask the creative design advisor to draw the image. It won't get it right. Just create a separate tab for Dolly. Also, from my testing, I can say that the quality of the outcome depends on the image you use. For example, check out this image of a medieval 
street. Looks simple, empty, not that hard to replicate, right? Well, now check out the prompt. The GPT decided to make it a bustling street with sunlight, villagers, cars, and so on. It just came up with a ton of information that just wasn't there. And if we generate the image itself, it will not look like our reference image at all. It has a similar structure with houses and a tower, but all in all, it's a completely different image. So be careful what you feed to the algorithm. And since we've started talking about images, answer this. Do you have kids? Because if you do, you know that children absolutely love coloring books. I had dozens of these books growing up, and although my coloring skills left a lot to be desired, I enjoyed the hell out of the process. And that's what we are gonna create now, coloring books. And to do this, we will not use anything but one custom GPT called Coloring Book Hero. It's really simple and easy to use. I just type in what I want my coloring book to look like. For example, I want a coloring book from the world of Middle Earth and Lord of the Rings. Then I will give AI a few seconds to think and boom, here is the result. I'd say this looks quite whimsical and kid-friendly. It would be really nice for a kid to color something like this, but let's have some fun and ask it to make the coloring book more mortar-like. I'm imagining Nazgul's flying around, Mount Doom and the Eye of Sauron, but what did it get? It does look a bit more dark and grim, but the overall impression is still pretty whimsical and kid-friendly. As you can see, I also asked for a color map, which should make coloring the book simpler. And here is another version with a dragon. Again, all this doesn't look like movies that we saw, but for a child, it will be really fun to color. And of course, the AI refuses to do not whimsical images. Kids, am I right? I do want to continue our creative streak and prove that AI indeed can be creative. I have already shown you AI tools that were writing music from a text description. Did you know that with one custom GPT, you can create music straight from ChatGPT? This GPT is called AI Song Maker and using it is really simple. I will use one of the suggested prompts for demonstration. This prompt asks AI to write music sheet and soundtrack using Fur Elisa as the starting point. It it would take hours for a human to come up with something, but for AI, it is a matter of seconds. First, it loads all the libraries, studies the sample track, and then defines the melodies, rhythms, and structures. After which, AI generates a music sheet in music XML format and a soundtrack in MIDI. This way, we can just take the generated files and use them in other programs or straight up start playing the music ourselves. This is really the easiest and fastest way to create music sheets with all the creativity over a real person and the speed of AI. But this is not everything this GPT can do, because it also can write lyrics for songs. Here I'm gonna ask it to write me lyrics for a song about love and butterflies in the stomach, and when you look at these words, it's done flawlessly. No need for revising or any changes, I'm no musician, even I can see how much potential this GPT has and how much it can help musicians. Instead of spending hours on creating one music track, you can simply generate a bunch of music with AI and use that for inspiration, mix things up together, and eventually create something new and fresh in a fraction of the time. Doesn't this sound magical to you? AI and GPTs are really changing our lives, if you haven't noticed. Creativity is always good, but how about making some money? You know, I was always fascinated with stocks, options, crypto, and all sorts of money-related things, but I never had enough diligence to do my research. Luckily, for people like me, there is a finance wizard GPT that should be an ultimate helper and analyst. For example, I will ask it to predict the future for Apple stock. Then it will think for a bit, ask our permission to access the external information, do the digging, and give a comprehensive analysis. Current stock price, market trends, year-to-date performance, and so on. I don't need to read any information myself, search the web, or analyze the price charts. Here, everything is simple and easy, right on my fingertips. And that's only a fraction of its true capabilities. I'm gonna ask about the best time to buy Coca-Cola stock, in 2024 
and when I should sell it to maximize my profits. Again, wait a few seconds and check this out. Current price of the stock, how it performed in the last month, and so on. According to AI, the optimal time to buy Coca-Cola stock in 2024 would be during periods of temporary consolidations. And although it's not the ideal response I was hoping to get, it's more than enough for an average person to get a grasp on how Coca-Cola stock is doing. To make things even more interesting, I'm also going to ask this GPT to create me an investment portfolio worth $2,000 with maximum dividends. I must say, these stock options are really smart. Utilities stock, consumer goods stock, healthcare, telecommunications, energy sector, all these types of stocks usually have good prospects of growing and quite high dividends. But how much will we make from that investment? Well, according to Finance Wizard, with $400 in each stock in total in 2024, we should make about $100. Just think about it, it's 5% return without lifting a finger. All thanks to this incredible AI tool. But I'm gonna take a step further and ask how much could I earn if I buy Apple stock today and sell it in December. Then the wizard will do some math and prediction, then add a pinch of analysis on top and conclude that my potential earnings could exceed $260 if I buy $2,000 worth of shares. If we consider that this is over 10% of the initial investment, I'd say that the returns are really tasty. So as you can see, we don't have to be financial analysts or experts in stocks to earn money from them. All we need is AI and a couple of cleverly written prompts. If you want to try it, I have to say that I do not bear any responsibility for your actions and all the gains or potential losses will be entirely your responsibility. This is just a disclaimer. Another pretty amazing GPT that you definitely should try can create websites from just a description. For example, I can ask it to design me a web page with a nature theme for which it will give me an outline of the page and go over every section, such as taking the image from a stock website. Then it will do all the job, all the coding and give me an HTML that I could just use. And I must say, it looks relatively simple, like something a junior programmer would do but since it took a couple minutes to create, I think this is mighty impressive. If needed, I can also ask to make changes to the website, but it doesn't always work. Apparently it requires more tokens or something like that. So from my experience, I can say that it's better to stick to a detailed prompt and do everything from the first try rather than make some changes. But I'm still gonna ask it to generate me a portfolio website. I will specify what actions I wanna see just to make it a bit easier for the AI. Then it will do the regular thinking and give me this. I must say this looks imperfect, but given the time that we spent on it, the results are more or less acceptable. I think we can make it better though. To do this, I'm gonna write another prompt with all the changes that I wanna see. And luckily this time it actually managed to implement these changes. The results again are far from professional, but more than enough to be used as a template. If I was a button programmer or just someone who needs a quick website for basically free, I'd use the hell out of this GPT. So be sure to try it and tell me about your experience and results in the comments. And I'm still not done because I've also found a great GPT for students and researchers that drastically saves time and gives access to over 200 million research papers. It's called SciSpace and I can just ask it to explore papers about higher dimensional algebra, to which it will give me a summary table with five most relevant papers and insights from each one, making it super easy to look for information and doing research. No more do I have to scour through Google Scholar and look for somewhat relevant pages. I can just type in my request and get the information in just a couple of seconds. I can ask for the latest studies on the influence of social media on kids aged five to 10, and it will give me that information. By default, it gives only five papers, but if needed, I can continue asking and get new studies each time. In the same way, I can just ask how sugar influences our brains and it will find studies on that. It is just so easy to look for information now. I don't even have to pose the questions in a specific way. I can just type in anything that bothers me and get relevant information instantly. I wish I had that when I was a student because I have spent more time on research and finding articles than in analyzing the data and writing itself. 
So be sure to try it out. And here we are, all serious, talking about making money, creating stuff, but you know what's missing from the picture? Fun. And that's what the next GPT is for. It's called Cartoonize Yourself. And it basically takes an image and turns it into Pixar style one. And it's really fun. For example, I can upload this selfie to which it will then generate a Pixar version of me. And would you look at that? It doesn't look like me. All the main facial features are there, but the glasses are different and the image just feels a bit off. If I squint my eyes, I would be able to say that it's me. But watch what happens when I upload this picture of me and two of my friends. The AI turns one of my friends black and changes basically everything. Now, only one of us is wearing a backpack, the hair color is different, even the posing is incorrect, but it still looks nice. I'm gonna ask it to try again and the new results are much better. Again, it's not perfect, yet the posing now is a bit closer to reality. The correct guy is wearing glasses and overall it's a much nicer picture. It does look like something Pixar would draw, right? What amazes me about all these GPTs is that all of them are basically built on top of ChatGPT functionality and do not require a separate website, learn special prompts, create an additional accounts and all of that hassle. Everything is super fast and easy. Just a few clicks, a few simple prompts and the results are in. All from a single ChatGPT subscription. The only problem that I have encountered is the message cap that exists on ChatGPT, 40 messages in three hours. So if you plan on using these GPTs to do serious work or use them often, it's better to carefully plan your prompts in advance to maximize the output and minimize messages wasted. With the GPT store up and running, we can already see how much easier it is to find GPTs and it will only get better. Soon there will be paid GPTs and there is even a chance that some of those that I mentioned today will become paid. So you better act now and try them out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.